Hey guys, welcome to game two. I haven't updated the winds. And I'm not gonna do the black screen thing to you guys. Just imagine that Tarpman has one game. One game away from advancing to the round of 16. Part is with him once again. Bottom left hand corner, he's starting as the yellow Zerg up left hand corner. We have Do Life once again as the Teal Terran. This is on Vermeer. I'm wondering if Tarpman is once again going to try to play the three hatch or play a uh, Mutalisk style, or a Mutalisk, play the three hatch lurker style. If he does, I have a feeling that Dulife will be able to respond to it a little bit more rapidly, or a little bit more, uh, what's the word? I think he'll be able to adjust his play between game one and game two. It's one thing getting surprised by it, it's another thing if that is the flat style of play that your opponent fields can be a little bit more uh, on the ball. Is that the word? I'm yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Parts with Tartman, I do think do life though overall. I still think he's a pretty solid player. Looks like we're seeing a overpool build from Tartman this time. Wants to field Zerglings rapidly. I'm almost wondering Overlord crawling up that left-hand side. I'm almost wondering if, especially after seeing that three-hatch style, if Do Life is going to opt to go for uh, two two racks play rather than go for the engineering bay style. Looks like he, that SCV is going to get first scout bottom left. Tartman moving out that drone to go ahead and grab his natural expansion hatchery. The other question of this is, okay, yes, it was a pool opener, but how many Zerglings end up constructed initially? We at least have a pair. Second pair joining. Are we going to see the full complement of six? Is my question. Looks like drones were just constructed in large numbers. Do life backing that SCV out. And it looks like we are going to see initial six. No gas grab once again from Tarpman. at the early stages to go for faster two hatch meals. So I think this might be three hatch lurker once again, SCV being hunted down, but able to thread You can see the Zerglings trying to spread out and find it, holding the ramp, SCV angling back around. Yeah, and it's gonna be an in base third hatchery. So it's gonna be three hatch. I think this just might be a uh, tarp man style of play is the three hatch lurker variation. I have a feeling that do life this time will be a little bit more, will have a little bit better defense against it. Not being caught by surprise. It's not the standard thing that a lot of Zerg uh, players will field. Even at the low levels of the brood war ladder, which is intense. Solid build regardless. And looks like having lost the Zerglings out on the field. The Marines and SCV blocking the ramp want to make sure those Zerglings don't get in. One loses its life. I wonder if they have like a neural link between, because they're built in pairs, right? They're like effectively twins. So I'm wondering if they have some sort of... I guess all Zerg have a, a general link and maybe all Zerg are... are twins of a kind. It's just... I mean, when at, at what point when you can just flat out manipulate your genetic structure when it's like you're gonna be this based on how I'm gonna combinate your DNA at what what relation do you then affiliate <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying layer halfway constructed we do have a defensive something colony this time a cautious command center up on the high ground for do life to float down that is gonna cut into his early economy. Has opted for two racks academy as predicted. Lair tech just about finished. No hydralis den as of yet. Also no second gas. SCV trying to swing back and approach. And we'll see the third hatchery does give a lot of space to plop the hydralis den in odd locations to try to hide it. 
sometimes you'll see it even uh, more towards the north. SCV sees that second gas morphing. SCV's saturating that natural expansion. Zertling's walking up, not able to get any kills. This time it is going to be three in, an in-base three-hatch spire. So Tartman throwing out some old-school builds here. See how this plays out. And actually, I don't think it'll be that bad against this two-rex play. Plus one weapons upgrading. Stim also upgrading. Comsat station finishing. We'll see if that Comsat is able to scout the Zerglings being pushed off the front. Tartman again in a solid economic position the early stages of the match. It'll be the question of whether... We'll see how his Mutalist Micro fares. Comsat Station, I believe, catches that Spire. For do life, we'll check, yeah. So now, recognizes he needs to get some defensive turrets. And the Larva are being saved up to go for the full nine. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a quick nine. It comes out a little bit later. Ooh, some fire bats constructed from Dew Life. So he was thinking about maybe going for a bust. Turrets in triplicate at the natural expansion. Zergling speed has evolved. So I'm testing the borders there. Turret at the main as well. Engineering bay. Looks like range is going to finish. A third barracks being added on. So it's going to be up to do life to kind of crawl out, get additional territory, and stop an additional base take. Now we're seeing Tarpman grab the bottom right expansion as initial mulusks are fielded. See how his micro does. A fourth turret. And Marines pressing. Nice. With the six mutalisks, able to pick off a good amount of SCVs. Eating a lot of damage for it, but still getting some kills. Hydralis Den now being built. No plus one weapon upgrade. So it looks like it is going to be a Lurker follow-up. Overlord having to retreat. Gets wiped out. That actually hurts quite a bit. As that... And that might stymie additional Mutalist play. That was actually pretty huge. That's going to give Dewlife a good amount of breathing room. Factory being built, which will give him pretty solid science vessel timing. More Mutalisks moving up. Drones transferring very rapidly to the bottom right. Tarpman wants to get that third gas as quickly as possible. So, a few Mutalisks flying over that encampment. Looks like he's going to try to... He's able to pick off... This has got to be like... Uh... Oh, come on! Two, two of the Mutalisks looked like they were not on the full control group right there. Do life at the very least is being pinned... Is, is keeping his medic marines close. Hasn't split off an attack force that could easily engage bottom right. Zergling's getting wielded out and a lot of damage on those Mutalisks. Over the open air, it looks like an SCV has managed to sneak out. I assume it's going to go scouting. Lurker tech being researched. Queen's Nest being dropped as well. Tartman trying to accelerate the mid game so he can go ahead and rapidly, I assume, just go for one Lurker planted to try to defend should it be necessary bottom right. But this Marine Ball has shredded these mutalisks. Tarpan has not gotten a lot of marine kills. At least able to tack on two right there. Not sure what Dewlife is planning on with that SCV upper right in corner. I'm wondering if that was just to check to try to confirm and conser conserve a little bit of comsat. Zerglings moving out. Dewlife making his way to that 9 o'clock high ground. Not a lot of mutal- oh, the mutalisks not joining with the Zerglings, so the Zerglings actually getting wiped out pretty rapidly. Do life pressing now. Third something colony bottom right. We have a lot of lurkers being morphed. That should keep do life from committing to this attack. He can still stage a few troops to go for a soft containment and maybe break off some troops to go for another base at exterior location. The Zerglings taking a lot of damage. Looks like we do have two lurkers holding that ramp bottom right, so it's going to be very difficult to evict that. Evolution Chamber being dropped to get that Carapace upgrade. Hive just finishing, and Tartman, three gas, not quite the drone count he had previously. Do Life still struggling to find the additional base, checking the six o'clock, finding nothing. Mutalisks are still in play, so they could still be a factor. And it looks like Siege Tanks 
being built. I wonder if we're going to see a dropship to follow out. This is going to delay science vessels, perhaps with all of that initial damage with those marines. Felt like that wasn't going to be very... The uh, science vessel would be a little bit less necessary to deal with the mutilus threat. But no science vessels out as of yet, which means these lurkers are going to be able to hold all of these positions and allow Tarpman to sneak a couple drones. They're getting count to 35. Nidus Canal already up at exterior locations. Is oh, an Overlord, however. Going to nearly supply cap Tarpman as it's wandering a little bit too far out there. Very close match. Scourge and Construction consume on the way. Tarpman should be able to get consume without... I think easily before Dewlife is really able to establish anything additional. The Mutalisks actually could just start working on supply depots up here. Able to wipe out a Marine, mostly scouting things out, but I would just, yeah, start working on supply depots. Be annoying. Force Marines back. Do life doing the standard Terran thing. Going to contain at two locations, maybe with that siege tank, with the stacked lurkers, he can breach top right. Nidus Canal is there to send reinforcements across. It'll come down to reaction time and whether troops are sufficient at both locations. I think with the double sunk colony, it should be okay. The Mutalisks making the way back. Three siege tanks, Compsat, and with that splash, all three lurkers get hit simultaneously. So the door is open, exposed bottom right, the Nidus Canal being focus fired, some lurkers able to get through. And this is going to be critical because keep in mind there's not a science vessel to support this. So more lurkers getting wiped out, overlords getting wiped out as well, some mutalisks grouping up, but they're going to need some support. So this is going to be two hatcheries, an evolution chamber that was working on plus one weapons, huge losses. Tartman just going to GG right there. Ah, my buddy. So it's going to be tied up, and we're going to move on to a final match. If you guys enjoyed the match and you enjoy my commentary, please consider a like and subscribe for sharing with a friend. I think people should share things they enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.